Let me start by giving you an overview of the interface of the Atlas DI for the Mac. So what do we have here? On the left side we have the navigator. The navigator allows us to access the documents and not only the documents but the different objects of the project. So let's start by the documents. So here is a, a mp3 uh, a document, audio document. Uh, this is a, a video document, mp4 a doc, uh, docx, a Word document, another video document here. Uh, here we have a, a PDF document and, and I'm going to use here my, my, my uh, touchpad to make it, uh, to, to, to change this here, the, the size, you see. So this is very nice with, with Atlas TI for the Mac. Um, here we have another one a picture and so on. So a number of different documents but we can also access in the navigator our quotations and quotations in Atlas TI are segments from the text that we select according to our research interests. So our quotations are here one by one and we can see them in context, always in context which is so important. Uh, we also can access our codes, the different codes that we may have. So what has been said about services? What has been said about cultural diversity? This and this. Uh, so our codes are also uh, accessible in the navigator. Uh, are memos the same thing? Memos are spaces for reflection. Uh, then we have our networks. If we have created a network, the network will show, will show also here. So you can access all of this. You can switch one by one also from the on the top and you can close your documents. This part is going to change soon uh, in one of the new uh, in one of the upcoming uh, updates. Uh, I think that uh, we will have less uh, less tabs available uh, here which will make it even easier for us. What else do we have here? Well we can hide the navigator or we can show the navigator hide the navigator, show the navigator. We also have a an inspector on the right side. The inspector can be hidden or the inspector can be shown. We can also hide or show the margin. Hide, show. On top we have the sh uh, uh, a, a drop-down menu for our documents, for our quotations, for our codes, and for our memos. Oops, there was nothing there. And we also have uh, uh, the managers, the document manager, which is the space where we will find information on our documents, uh, their IDs, their names, their, the type of files they are, the number of quotations connected to the document. If we have written any comment on the document, this is a World Health Organization bulletin on primary care. So something descriptive on the document and some information about the author and the dates and, and the origin which is the location of the document in your computer. You also have a very nice, uh, uh, below, a very nice uh, uh, preview of each document. In this case it's a video which is wonderful. Uh, a preview of your, of your Word document, of another video you know, which allows you to have a very kind of quick approach uh, to each one of you of these documents and then you can write uh, something uh, descriptive, uh, descriptive, descriptive as a comment of the document, right? Alright, so you can also group your documents according to variables, all of the documents from 2007 and 2008 are grouped here and visible in the document manager. You also have the quotation manager, uh, also information on your quotations, uh, uh, a number of different things. You can rename them here, you can rename your quotations and you can comment them. Oh, so interesting, right? Something, something that you want to say on your quotations and also here you have uh, your codes and the codes, uh, the quotations are connected to the codes. 
cultural diversity has two quotations connected to it this one double click goes to the uh, context and then the next one also goes to the context uh, your code manager also you have access to it here you see all of your codes the numbers of quotations linked to them and the number of codes linked to the codes uh, through semantic relations you have space for comments where you can write something about your codes kind of operational definitions right uh, and here you have groups of codes according to anything you want themes that may be emerging for example all right and then on top you have uh, you have the main menus the main menus where you can access uh, different procedures in terms of the project uh, saving renaming exporting importing uh, documents quotations networks analysis tools views and windows and here uh, in the middle you have keys for coding as well as printing the document so this is an overview of this of the of the interface of atlas ti okay thanks